Today's video is going to be Operation Chick Habitat. If you haven't been following along, I have 15 chicks coming to me in the mail and they're going to be here any day, so I need to be ready for them and that's what we're going to do today. If you watch my previous chick raising videos, they've all been done inside Roxy's dog crate, which you see here. There are some nice things about this, that it's a pretty large size and has a high top, which I can secure the heat lamp to. The downside, which is a huge one, is that I use these pine chips. And even with putting cardboard around the bottom, which I typically do, this thing just makes a huge mess and it just gets everywhere. So this year I decided to do something a little bit different. I went to U-Haul and I bought this large wardrobe box, which I think it has the dimensions on here. This is... 24 by 21 by 48 and I thought I would fashion this up here today and make a video on how to make a chick raising habitat using a U-Haul box. There's my helper biting on the box. Mello was sitting outside and she was meowing so I decided to bring her in. Maybe she can help me out a little bit or probably just distract me the whole time. Now the first decision I need to make, of course this thing's going to be on its side. Really? I'm going to put this up like this probably. Let me show you. So it'll be like that, and they'll have lots of surface area to walk around on once I cut this top off. The downside is it's not quite as tall on the sides. Now if I were to flip it like this, it is a little bit taller, but they don't really have as much area. And I like to give, since I'm having 15 of them in there, I want to have as much space as possible. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it like this, and I'm going to cut this top off, and I may use some of the parts of that to use on the sides to make the sides a little bit taller. What in the world? What are you doing? The only tools you'll need for this job is a box cutter and a roll of duct tape. All right, first thing I'm doing is making this into an actual box by putting duct tape on the bottom of this side. I'm actually using this as the top since it's already coming back quite a bit. And then there's my helper just getting into all kinds of a mess. So I'm gonna put this in and then push this up like that. I'm gonna continue on the sides here like this all the way around using the box cutter. And that will pretty much be my box that the chickens are gonna be in. Here's the box with the top all cut. What I'm thinking about doing with this to make this a little bit taller is to take this material since I have it and maybe cut this about halfway so then I can fold this back up and it'll be a little bit taller and then use these other pieces here that'll be left over for the sides. And since I'm pushing this against the wall, this side won't be really quite as important. Here's the rough idea of what I'm doing. You can see how I modified the lid of the box to make it a little bit taller. Like I said, the back side's against the wall, so no problems. The cool thing about buying one of these wardrobe boxes is that it comes with this metal bar, which I put inside here. It kind of rests on the sides. And I thought that'd be great for hanging the heat lamp from, but I think it might be a little bit too low. I'm going to reinforce this a good bit. As you can see, I just use duct tape all over the sides, just kind of piecing it together to get the general idea. And now I'm going to reinforce it and make sure it's going to last me for as long as the chickens are going to stay inside here. This is just hilarious. What do you got? Let's see her get that stuck to her. This is the finished product. As you can see on the sides, I just used a ton of duct tape. I just kept duct taping until I ran out, basically. Inside of this, you'll see I have this metal bar, which this is an exact reason you don't throw anything away. This was something that I took down in my yard. It was from an old antenna. I thought, you know, I never, might be able to use that for something, and I certainly did. I have the heat lamp affixed to that. As you can see, it'll just kind of sit on there, and I have it kind of positioned back on this back corner here, so all the chickens, if it's really warm, or if they want to be really warm, they can go back there and lay, and if it's too hot, they can kind of migrate over here. This is where their water is going to be right there, and then that's their food right there. Speaking of food, picked up 80 pounds of chick growing mash, so that should be plenty of food to get them started. And I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, the one last thing, I did take and put a little notch in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not, but there's a notch there. And I put another notch up here in the event that I want to move this around a little bit, so I don't have to do it when the chickens are actually here. So that'll keep that thing from rolling out. And then there, fortunately there's an outlet right there, so it just plugs in there. Anytime you use these heat lamps, it makes me a little bit nervous just for the fact that that could fall in there and catch your whole house on fire. But I think with the, this thing is pretty secure. I mean, it does flex a little bit, but I don't think it's going to fall off there. And the chickens aren't going to be quite big enough in the time that they're going to be in here to do any kind of big movements to it or any damage. So I think everything will be just fine. My chickens are coming priority mail from Ohio. They should be here one day this week, so I'm excited to go get them and have them try out their new accommodations. And I'll know for sure one way or another whether this U-Haul box plan works or not, and you'll be there along for the ride too because I'm going to be documenting this whole experience as always. So be prepared for plenty of chicken videos here to come. I thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.